A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea and Herod was tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Iturea and Trachonitis, and Licinius was tetrarch of Abilene. During the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The winding roads shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Kung sa isang sikat na singing competition ay nag-aagawan ang mga kalahok sa title na The Voice, actually, our main Bible character on this second Sunday of Advent already got it. Yes, John the Baptist, as presented in today's Gospel, is already the voice, even before the public ministry of Jesus. Siya ang tinig na nag-aadya sa paghahanda. At paghahanda for what? He is the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight His paths. Bakit? Kasi someone so great and of sublime importance is coming, Jesus our Lord. John, also known as the Precursor, points to Him as the Messiah who will bring about salvation for all. Isn't it when someone so important and dear to us is coming, we do the utmost preparation to welcome that person? Then how do we prepare for Jesus' coming? Kasalukuyan pa rin tayong nakasalang sa pagsubok na dala ng pandemyang ito. At even more, due to the current political circumstances in our nation that cause confusion and division. In the context of our present time, how do we prepare the way of the Lord? The Gospel presents to us the oracle from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Allow me to contextualize what the voice is delineating for our preparation this season of Advent. Every valley shall be filled. Sa anong aspeto ng ating karakter bilang Kristiyano tayo nagdarako? Saan tayo nagkukulang? Sa ekspresyon ba ng pagmamahal o kabutihan sa kapwa? Maiging punan natin ang mga pagkukulang ito. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. Sa ang aspeto naman tayo dumalabis, sumusobra, na kailangang kaltasan at bawasan. Sa ating pagmamalabis pa at pagpapahirap sa kapwa, tayo'y tinatawagang magbago. The winding roads shall be made straight. Ano naman ang kailangang ituwid sa ating prinsipyo at paniniwala na taliwas sa kagandahang loob at kalooban ng Diyos? The rough ways made smooth. Anong aspeto sa ating pagkatao ang malubak at kailangang patangin? Saan hiba ito ng kasalanan o kawalan ng pakialam sa kapwa? Hayaan nating patangin ito ng pagmamahal at biyaya ng kapatawaran ng Diyos. Let us open our hearts to the newness that this Advent season offers us. May we welcome these challenges echoed by the voice in the wilderness. But all this preparation will only happen 
when we respond to John's call to repentance. It is only when we commit ourselves to these necessary changes in our life that we can embrace renewal and eventually see the salvation God desires for us. May we actualize these challenges and wholeheartedly prepare for the coming of our God. A blessed Sunday to all. Thank you.